Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jack. Jack had always been fascinated with the ocean and spent most of his time exploring the depths of the sea. He had always believed that there was something mysterious lurking beneath the waves and that one day he would discover its secrets. One day, while Jack was out on his boat, he spotted something unusual in the water. At first, he thought it was a large fish, but as he drew closer, he realized it was a dolphin. The dolphin was swimming in circles, as if trying to get his attention. Jack had never seen a dolphin behave in such a way before, and he felt a strong urge to follow it. He quickly grabbed his diving gear and jumped into the water. The dolphin swam ahead of him, leading him deeper and deeper into the ocean. As Jack swam, he began to notice that the water was getting darker and colder. He was getting deeper and deeper into the ocean, and he knew that he had to be careful. But he was determined to follow the dolphin, and he pressed on. After what felt like hours of swimming, Jack finally saw something in the distance. It was a large, dark shape that seemed to be made of stone. As he got closer, he realized that it was a building. And not just any building, it was a city. Jack couldn't believe what he was seeing. He had never heard of a city under the ocean before. He swam closer, and he saw that there were streets and buildings, just like in a regular city. But everything was made of stone, and there was no sign of life anywhere. As he swam through the city, Jack felt a strange sense of unease. The city seemed abandoned, and he couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched. He knew that he should turn back, but his curiosity got the better of him. He wanted to explore the city and find out what had happened to the people who had once lived there. As he explored the city, Jack began to notice strange symbols carved into the stone buildings. They looked like nothing he had ever seen before, and he couldn't make sense of them. But he knew that they must be important, so he made a mental note to come back and study them later. As he continued to explore, Jack heard a strange sound coming from one of the buildings. It sounded like singing, but it was unlike any singing he had ever heard before. He swam towards the sound, and he saw a faint light coming from a window. He approached the window and peered inside. There, he saw a sight that he would never forget. Inside the building, there was a group of people, or at least, he assumed they were people. They had webbed hands and feet, and their skin was a pale blue color. They were gathered around a large stone altar, and they were singing in a language that Jack didn't understand. Jack watched in awe as the ceremony unfolded. He couldn't understand what was happening, but he could sense that it was something important. Suddenly, one of the creatures spotted him outside the window. It let out a loud shriek, and the others turned to look at him. Jack knew that he had been caught. He quickly swam away from the building, but he could hear the creatures chasing after him. He swam faster and faster, but they were gaining on him. Just as he thought he was about to be caught, he saw the dolphin swimming towards him. The dolphin swam between Jack and the creatures, 
creating a barrier. Jack swam past the dolphin and the creature stopped chasing him. He turned to thank the dolphin, but it had disappeared. Jack knew that he had to leave the city immediately. He didn't know what those creatures were or what they wanted, but he knew that he didn't want to find out. He swam as fast as he could back to his boat, never looking back. As he sailed away from the city, Jack couldn't stop thinking about what he had seen. He knew that he had discovered something incredible, but he also knew that he had stumbled upon something dangerous. He couldn't help but wonder what secrets lay hidden beneath the ocean's surface. Over the next few weeks, Jack couldn't stop thinking about the hidden city he had discovered. He knew that he had to go back and learn more about it. He began researching ancient civilizations and underwater archaeology, trying to uncover any clues that might help him understand what he had seen. Finally, he felt ready to return to the city. He gathered his diving gear and set out to find it once again. This time, he was prepared for whatever he might find. As he approached the city, Jack saw that it looked different than it had before. There were more lights and movement, as if the city had come to life again. As he swam closer, he saw that there were people swimming around the buildings, just like in a regular city. Jack approached one of the people and asked them what had happened. The person told him that the city had been abandoned for centuries, but that a group of scientists had recently discovered it and had been studying it ever since. The scientists had uncovered many secrets about the city, including the fact that it was built by an ancient civilization that had been lost to time. They had also discovered that the creatures Jack had seen were not monsters, but rather the descendants of the people who had once lived in the city. The people of the city welcomed Jack and allowed him to explore freely. He spent weeks studying the city and learning about its secrets. He discovered that the strange symbols he had seen were part of a language that had been lost for thousands of years, and he worked tirelessly to decode it. Finally, after many months of study, Jack had unlocked the secrets of the language. He learned that the city had been built by a highly advanced civilization, but that they had disappeared without a trace. The people who lived in the city now were the descendants of the survivors, but they had lost much of their technology and knowledge over the centuries. Jack felt a sense of pride and accomplishment as he realized that he had unlocked the secrets of the hidden city. He knew that he had discovered something truly amazing, and he felt honored to have been a part of it. As he sailed away from the city, he knew that he would never forget the wonders he had seen beneath the ocean's surface.